Right, so welcome along to part four then, guys. So we're going to just go through a little bit of fancy editing on this part. Um, I'm just going to explain what to do if you make a mistake. And we're also going to discuss, obviously, the big topic of uh, monetization of this type of video in the future. Um, so let's just start with the editing side of it. So obviously, when I, when I did this initial start off screen, I just brought these in as a block. Now, you don't have to do that. You just ungroup the first one. I'll just show you what I mean. Obviously, animate, and then just click on the shape, not the text. Click on the shape, build in, add an effect, and what we're going to do is we're going to fade and scale. It comes in with a nice little shine, but we just need to speed that up a little bit because that was pretty slow. So 1.5, and then set that to build position 1, and then the country ball, build in again. This time we'll spin it in, turn that bounce off, set it to position 2. And then population, um, we'll wipe that in, set that to position 3, and then Mexico, we'll wipe that in, set it to position 4, and then with the figure, we'll trace that in, it's quite fancy, we'll just speed that up a little bit, and set that to position 5, and then just go into your build order, this is straight from the start of the video, so... After the transition, let's say half a second to get going. And then the country ball image, will send that straight across with it. So with build one, no delay. And then population text, will wipe that over. Um, just after, give it a small delay. Mexico will wipe with the population text. So that's going to be with. And then number five, we'll send that after, but we won't delay it. So that should be that. So obviously we're not animating the box, that's why it was on the screen at the start. But all that comes in sort of fancy. Then you just repeat it with Russia, repeat it with Bangladesh, make that text disappear, and then repeat it with Nigeria. So that's that. So then in slide two, what you would do, same thing in reverse, you would take out the country ball, take out the shape, take out the China text. Don't delete them, just move them out, put them in this position, these positions and then send the, the clear box the clear three color box over over three seconds into that position and then build them in afterwards before slide obviously doing your transition and sliding it across to your end that your ending part so just, just what i've just done but sort of in reverse that's that so now i'll just show you a little bit of fancy stuff just to how to animate your shapes and just move these out of the way um why don't I just delete these groups just to save confusion? They're not built in anymore. So let's ungroup this and then pull that out. We're going to delete this because it's going to be easier than trying to regroup it and send it. And I'm going to use this one because this one's already grouped. Change that to 2.14.3 and then just set these, go to format and set them both to front or when you try and slide them across they might end up behind this. So arrange and then front. So they're set to front, right so that's not grouped. So scroll down over everything, press group and then copy and paste that. Send that over here. So 480 and 1. This is just for a reference point when I send the shapes across. So we'll animate this as normal. So animate action and move over 50. Add an effect, no acceleration. <clears throat> and always remember on the very first one it's with build 1 on no delay. So we'll send that across to 480 and 1. <clears throat> That's that. Yeah, with build one. <coughs> Sorry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to animate these shapes. Now, what we need to do first is put them in the correct position. So just keep double clicking until you bring your shape up. There's the shape. Go to format and just memorize these two numbers 14, 98, and 26. Pop the shape down. Obviously, you've set it to front. So 14, 98, and 26. So that's in position. Same at the bottom, just keep double clicking until you get the shape and then memorise the number 1453 681. 
pop her in as near as you can. 14, 53, perfect. So they're set. As Brazil and the box slides across, we've got to build these into land on the screen as Brazil's going past, and then we've got to animate them to slide across on their own, independently sort of thing. So, go onto the shape, go to animate, and then go to build in, add an effect. I'll pivot it, if anyway. Um, set it to 1.5, and that would be with build one on a 1.5 delay. It should, the three seconds it takes for Brazil to get from that position to the position where the shape comes, that, that whole delay should be three seconds. So 1.5, to make the animation and 1.5 delay if you like should make the time up and then it's a bit easier on this one because you just um, build it in and let's spin it in 1.5 is fine and we'll do that that's just with build one I think that's right and then what you do is we have to perform an action to slide these across the screen. Now obviously if they're traveling less distance, they're only traveling from this box. So that's 12 seconds. Align to path, no acceleration. And then it's after build four. So you've got your wire position 26. It's got to stay on that. Just pop it into the middle of this box as near as you can see. Looks about right. And then set your position to 26. And then same here, perform the action, add an effect, uh, move, 12 seconds, add an effect, no delay, and that's with build 5, I think that's right, and obviously don't forget, 681, and then send him to the middle of that box, 681. Let's just check I've got it right. 1.5, 1.5 delay. I think that's right. And then you send it across 12 seconds. And 12 seconds. I think that's right. Just have a look. Just show that little start animation again. It's quite nice that it just obviously you just repeat that. Obviously, the way I showed you on the first part of the tutorial, it just does that. Let's just see if this has worked. Yeah, it's not perfect, but that's... Yeah, that's worked. So, And you just repeat that. You just rinse, repeat it. Um, with the shape, you don't have to take it out. You don't have to re rebuild it. Basically, what you do is you copy and paste the shape. That's why a lot of my videos, I do... I only animate the shape and not the country ball because all you do is you copy and paste this, recenter it, send it across the screen as normal, and then as long as you build this in afterwards, it, it redoes, it re it remakes the animation for you. So effectively it does it for you. All you do is change the text, put it back in the same position. It's just awkward if you if you're animating these country balls, that's that's then it's awkward because you've got to remake that build yourself. So I hope that sort of gives you an idea what you're looking for. I work that all out myself, so it, you know it's possible to do it. So that's really it. So let's just quickly talk about monetization of this type of video. Now YouTube are really clamping down on channel. There's a lot of channels now popping up. Just they just they make these slides. They make them a bit like this. You know, you've got a shape, you've got a, either a country ball or you've got an icon, and you've got some text in the middle. And there's there's no real there's no real educational value to the videos. They're obviously just automatically generated. They're pretty low quality videos. So I just want to allude to this slide here. So guys, anybody who's watched these slide videos before will know there's some fairly big channels. They're all monetized channels. They wouldn't be posting videos if they weren't. Um, so there's Tally. I mean, I might not have them all, but Tally, Mr. Ranker, Ray Gal, probably the biggest one infinite watch data these are big channels these are all monetized channels and there's a reason why they're monetized and it's because they provide what youtube deems as educational content and you could argue it is or it isn't but it doesn't matter 
if the advertisers and YouTube are happy, you'll be monetized, and that's it's as simple as that. Um, and the, the the way they do this is providing captions with every portion, every every nugget of information they give you. So regarding, so watch data have posted a video, highest calorie burning exercises. It's one of their better videos, to be fair. And what they're saying is it gives it burns 300 calories an hour, and then it gives information about what they've just said, almost proof in a way of why they've suggested that. And that's what these channels do. They are, they provide captions of information with with everything, and that because YouTube now are clamping down on non-educational content, just content that means nothing. There's no narration, there's no commentary, and there's no educational value. So if you, as long as you can be innovative and provide, I'll just scroll down and just give an. Now I don't want to single this channel out. I can't even remember what this channel's called, but that is a typical of example of a video that just will not get monetized. I challenge the owner of this video to come and say to me, I'm monetized, you absolutely not. I think the video was something along, along the lines of how many work days to buy a Bugatti car. A professional sleeper would need to work 17,000 days. I mean, it's ridiculous. You can't, there's so many channels now coming on the platform. I think they can just make whatever they want and because it gets views and gets enough watch time that advertisers will allow this. They won't allow this. As long as you stay innovative, you provide good information on your videos, you make your own content. If they're happy that that's what you're doing, then they'll let you be monetized. Nobody can come tell me you can't be monetized. You can. I've just recently been given my monetization back. Um, but providing this sort of content will get you demonetized just like that. So I hope that sort of clears it up for you. To get monetized, just be innovative, give educational content, make your own content. Don't just look at what everybody else is doing and make the same thing. Advertisers don't want to see the same thing over and over again. So make your own content, make it good, make it educational, make it look like your own and you will be monetized. And that's it really. So that concludes everything. We've gone through everything. Any questions, just hit me up in the comments. And thanks for watching my tutorial and good luck with your YouTube future. Thanks guys.